this wouldn't happen without this man. I mean, this could have all happened in Georgia, okay? And there was a choice, and we met with him. Mark, uh, Christy Klaus. Christy, thank you for your hard work on this as well. Roland's a good guy, and uh, he said we'd like to do this, John, if we can find our way there. Uh, I'm glad we were able to partner. Our investment uh, still is a return on investment positive for the state of Ohio. The taxpayers make out on this. Uh, but without Roland, uh, this doesn't happen. And like I say, I think he's really a good guy. So give him a great round of applause for me. there if I didn't recognize the great team we have here at Wendy's. I was in the background. I certainly spoke to the governor, but all the work was by, done by these ladies and gentlemen here. But thank you for the nice It's words. great. And, thank you. you know, when, I, when I'm standing here, Roland, i, I got to tell you, uh, uh, Denny Lynch, it was, I met Dave Thomas in 1977. Um, he was there early. Um, I remember coming to see him. He had that small little office before we had this big building, of which we're going to have a better building. I don't know how many of you were around. I know Wendy was around. Um, <laughs> but I, I remember going in there, and, you know, I, he'd sit behind that big desk, and, uh, and he would talk about his friend Len Empty. Uh, and many of you remember Len Empty because the first Wendy's, tragic loss, Wendy. Why they ever let that original Wendy's go, I have never understood, okay? <laughs> And, um, but I tell you a funny story. Uh, Dave was a big supporter of mine early on, and I, because I remember telling him, Did you ever think this would happen to you, sir? And he goes, No, and I was about 25, and I said, Well, I know you think I'm crazy trying to run for the legislature. I know uh, you don't think I can win. Well, my boy, um, you know, they took a chance on me. I'll take a chance on you. Go down and see Len Imke. So I go down to see Len Imke. And Len had his office in the back. You remember Wendy in the, he, behind his partition? And he had this fountain that was, um, do you remember the fountain? If you, the water didn't come up. It was just sit in this pool. And I went in to see Len, and, and he got Dave on the phone, and they said, yeah, I'm going to help you too. And he wrote me a check, and I can remember walking out. And as I walked out, the salesman had the cars right there in the, you know, in the uh, building there. And I walked right into the fountain. And, uh, and when I got about halfway through the fountain, I thought to myself, well, do I turn around or do I just keep walking? So I walked straight through, put my hand on the door, and all the salesmen cheered me as I walked out. <laughs> Those are the memories that you have of... Uh, you know, just sitting here, you know, it's kind of a business announcement. For me, it's not a, it's really, uh, it's really, in, in some ways, as I was just sitting here, I'm like almost thunderstruck by the emotion that Dave's coming back. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, Wendy's and Columbus, and maybe some of you are new, but you got to, and the franchisees, how many franchisees are here? Can you wait, raise your hands? Let's see. I know there's a bunch of you here. Where are you? Most of them are working in the investment. <laughs> well, the franchisees have always been the strength of women. Yes. And, um, you know, they participate and come around and they just love Wendy's. And working all the time to make it a better operation, more efficient, more effective, more responsive to the customer, quick, more, quicker and more accurate all the time. I know that. And they're always pushing it. And uh, I don't think that I've ever seen them more excited than they are about the french fries. You know, the, the new fries, and, and, and they are terrific. And, you know, can we get three hot sauces with the chili rather than two? I mean, what do you think will you know, script too much? Okay? Denny, what are you doing? I mean, they put the three in there. So, to think about how we went from the small building to Dave's bigger building, and then a couple guys that I knew, Roland, who, who you didn't know, but the people that have been here a long time, Jim Neer. From Westerville. You remember old Jim Neer? What a wonderful man. Uh, you know, David Neer was here for a while. And uh, he's a franchisee. He is. And, but Jim Neer grew up right there in Westerville. He's a wonderful guy. Uh, Dave really relied on Jim Neer. And Jim Neer, when he was in college, used to build model restaurants. And, you know, he discovered his passion <clears throat> early on in life and did a terrific job. 
And then we had Gordon Teeter. And many of you remember Gordon Teeter, the old uh, yeah, great, great quarterback from Purdue who came in here. And uh, he had great family. I, I know his daughter uh, very well. She's a, a sweetheart. And uh, there's so much uh, memories that I have here. And, you know, Dave, Dave knows what's going on. And who would have ever dreamt 1977 to 2000, that'd be, what, 23 years, and then add another 11, that's 34 years, Pat. And here I'm standing at a podium helping Roland and Wendy's to bring the headquarters back to Columbus. The Lord works in mysterious ways, you know? And it's just a, a fantastic thing. So this is, look, we're going to add another 50 jobs. It's going to be more than that, okay? We beat Georgia on this. And there will be more coming. He won't tell you. He won't admit it. But I know what's coming. Okay? And, we could have lost. We could have lost 385. Had the decision gone against us, and uh, you know, I love beating Georgia. I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't cop to those foreigners down there. So, uh, I think we're doing pretty well. Let me tell you a couple things. You know, when I came in, we had an $8 billion budget deficit. No one thought we could lick it, and we have. And when the country and many states are being downgraded on their credit, because we stared our problems square in the eye and we have addressed them, uh, Standard & Poor's improved our credit rating. When everybody else is sinking, ours is going up, and that's an outside validation and we all live in fear of what the heck is going to happen with our credit, our markets, our economy. Uh, we're kind of taking things into our own hands now. You know, if the, other, if the rest of the country doesn't get it, Ohio will get it. And I think this is one of the reasons, and one of the things I learned from Dave, to keep it simple. Just remember what works, right, Wendy? Remember the things that work and just do them. And have no fear as you go forward and you do them. And Ohio's now jumped 11 places in terms of passing, you know, 11 other states in terms of being jobs friendly. The one thing we all know is you give somebody a job, you give them hope. You take their job away, and they have no hope. And when now there's going to be some people that are going to be able to tell their, their spouse and their children, I'm going to work at Wendy's. And you know, that's going to be the greatest Christmas present uh, that, that, that they could get. So, um, hey... I've been around here for a long time, and I'm coming back, and the only thing I want to know is when I come back to visit Roland, I've got to have a little space that you have for me in a little office where I can make my, my phone calls. Can you do that for me? <laughs> and remember, three hot sauces with that chili, and we'll really be kicking it then. Thank you all.